Hi friends, I have a do-it-yourself decor project for you today that is part of the Creative Christmas Challenge hosted by Remodelaholic. I will be showing you how to paint on burlap with everyday craft supplies. We will be making a Christmas burlap sign that is going to be mounted on a fence frame. To see the full tutorial of how to make the fence frame, go to my blog at leapoffaithcrafting.com. I also made another burlap sign with my Cricut and heat transfer vinyl. This is a free cut file on my blog, so if you have a cutting machine, go to Leap of Faith Crafting to download the SVG. Okay, let's get started. So here I have um, just a piece of felt, and I'm actually going to cut it out into a tree that I'm going to put on the burlap. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use this as a stamp. So I'm just going to draw a tree. So I just folded it in half, and I'm just going to draw one of those basic Christmas trees. The little sign here. And then you're going to cut that out. You have a tree. And so to use it as a stamp, I want to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to actually put some Mod Podge all over it and let it dry. So I'm just going to stick brush in there and you're just going to Put Mod Podge all over it. You could use it just like this, but it's a little bit flimsy, so a little bit harder to work with. Um, so I just like to make it a little bit thicker. This is an optional step. Um, but you're just going to put, cover the whole thing in Mod Podge. Okay, so this is the one I had already done, and you see how it's quite a bit thicker now? So I tried it on the back already, so that's why there's green paint on there. So. I'm going to use this as a stamp. Other things that I'm going to use are just, I'm going to make some foam stamps. So I have this piece of foam paper here, um, or you can get a whole pack of foam sheets at, this is from the Dollar Tree. You can make a bunch with that. So I wanted to write ho, ho, ho on the top of mine. So what I'm going to do is actually just cut, cut a thin, to make H's with. Make it a little bit thinner. And you can make this however you want. <clears throat> so I got an H here, and I'm going to make it about three inches big. So about this big. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to layer these two just to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna have two on top of each other and I'm just gonna use a glue stick just so it gives it a little bit more of elevation so it doesn't stick the what I'm gonna put it on. So I'm just gonna glue it on top of there and cut an H. I mean, cut that. So I have one side of an H. So I can use this for both sides. So the only other thing I need is the middle one. So again, I'm just going to kind of see how much I want. I'm going to cut it off. Again, glue it on. And cut that side. Okay, so that will be the H, and then I'll just use this again on the other side. So I'm just going to put them on backs of things I have. I have this clothespin that actually will work perfect. So I'm going to just glue this on here. You can also use a hot glue gun. Okay. Um, for the O, you can, I have wine corks or with a hot glue gun, but I'm not going to need it for that long. Okay, and then for the O, I'm just going to grab this and you can use anything. I wanted about three inches, so I'm just going to use just the top of this paint jar here. So I'm just going to draw a circle around it. Okay. 
Okay. And then just cut this out. Or if you had a really large punch out stamp, you could use that for a circle. So like that, have a circle, and then I'm just going to fold it in half and cut out a middle circle. So I'm just eyeballing this. Take a little bit off this side. And if you have a smaller um, jar cap, paint jar, anything like that, you can also put that in the middle and make a circle out of that. Okay, so I'm going to then cut out another one of these to make it a little bit better. So I'm just gonna put it on here, trace it again, and then glue those two together. So I had already made one right here and I put it on the back. I have some of these for stamping that it's um, just a glass block to stick it down on so that when you press down, it needs to have even pressure all the way around it. So that's why you need something pretty big on the back of it. Um, if you don't have something like this, you could even glue it on the top of a lid or if you have a mason jar lid or any kind of lid and glue it on there and use that as your punch, as your stamp. So once I have all those things I want, um, and if you wanna paint anything else like presents or anything like that, you can cut squares out of um, the foam, um, anything you want. So, so I've tried two different type of paint on burlap and they both seem to work great. These H's you can see are both bright. Um, so I've used, I have Speedball, which is a screen print um, paint that I do on a lot of um, my pillows and canvas and things like that. So I'm using this, but I also just used a basic acrylic paint and this made the other H. So as you can see, they both work great. So if you don't have any screen print, just use the these basic acrylic paints that you can find at Walmart or Joann's or Michael's and those will work. Okay, so now I have my felt stamp that I'm going to use. Um, I've already used it once so it's already painted green but I'm going to paint it all green again. So again, I'm using this speedball paint, but any paint would work, chalk paint or acrylic paint or anything that you have. Okay, and then for the bottom, I'm just going to put this little brown paint I have on it. Okay, so I painted it on there because obviously it makes a big mess. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. And then I'm gonna put my tree down on my burlap. So I'm just going to place it where I want it and press down. If you have a roller, you can roll it down or just press it down with your fingers. Okay. Oops. Then I'm going to lift that up. Okay, so my camera kind of cut on me. I'm sorry about that. But all I did once I pulled the burlap off, there was some spots missing and I just came in with my paintbrush and just painted those in. Okay, so and then put a little bit of brown down there. 
So now I'm working on the letters with the stamps that we made. So I already did one H, but I'm using these stamps and putting the paint on it. So I'm going to do an O here. Here is my O. I'm going to just paint the whole top of this. And I had black under there, so it might come out a funny color, but I won't decided I wanted to put polka dots inside my O's so I wanted them both the same color because I didn't really like the black. I did paint it black once and I painted it white once and I didn't really like that look. So then I'm just gonna press that down and we have one. So then I'm going to do another ho. So it says ho 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 so I'm painting the foam that's on top of the clothespin. I'm going to put that up here. Okay, so did one H to the middle. And the other side. And There's the tree and the H's. And if there's anything that didn't get done, you can go back and fill it in. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then I will be back to and put some dots on the ho 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 and I'm going to decorate the tree. Okay, so now I'm back. Um, everything has dried. It's been overnight. So now I'm just going to decorate um, the tree um, and whatever else I feel like decorating. So you can do whatever you want. You can leave it plain like this um, or you can come back and I'm going to add some polka dots to my letters here. So I am just going to use the end of a paintbrush. And I'm going to dip it in my paint and just going to add some stripes on another one. So, for the tree, I'm going to put a little bit of tinsel on it um, with some, let's see, we'll try some of the gold glitter paint. A kind of a star at the top. Might need a little yellow in it. Okay. And then for some ornaments on the tree. I'm just going to use some circles that I have. I have different um, sponge blotters or paintbrushes that are round. 
And I can use, or you can use, um, like we made the foam stamps for that. You can cut out little foam for that. Also have these little blotters too that are good for um, a little paint. We'll go up a little bit. So I'm just gonna start blotting in some paint. And this is a glitter acrylic paint, so it's not really going to show up very well until it dries. I'm just going to put a few dots on there, and then I can go back with a paintbrush and fill it in. Okay, so you can add whatever you want on it. Um, like I said, you don't even have to decorate it. Um, I'm gonna add just some little, let's see, some silver, tinsel too. So that's about what I'm going to do for it. I'm just going to let it dry and then we should be done. So like I said, lots of different ways to add some color and just some little decorations without having a Cricut or any kind of cutting machine. You can do it all with just things you have at home. Um, you can have your kids paint on burlap if you want to get a couple of them up there or you can all do it together and have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and um, hope to see your creation soon. Again, a big thank you to Remodelaholic for hosting this challenge and make sure you click the card to watch the Creative Christmas playlist.